Hello, in this video we're gonna see how you can install Cloud Panel on a VPS. In our case we're gonna use Hetzner Cloud to install uh, this lightweight Cloud Panel. And we will uh, create a uh, WordPress website and see how the performance is uh, for this uh, VPS and this Cloud Panel. So Cloud Panel is a free solution, it is uh, lightweight and performance it can be installed uh, on Ubuntu or Debian. It has a, has a technology stack Nginx and uh, yeah, Python. You can choose like for the database MySQL or MariaDB in function of the commands and you have uh, various PHP options that you can use. It also installs Redis on your, on your server. What is nice about this is uh, the fact that it's uh, lightweight and uh, you can choose from multiple uh, application types like Node.js ones, WordPress and things like that where we'll see, we're gonna see this in the future. We're gonna go and install this on the Hesner VPS. In here they have a tutorial that uh, will help you also create, uh, install it on Hesner. So what we're gonna do is first go to Hesner and we're going to create a server. Okay, we'll choose the Ubuntu. Let's choose for the data center. We'll go to US. We'll choose the latest version of Ubuntu. We choose the standard one, and we're gonna choose the latest, the latest, the smallest shape that they have in here, and see how how it's doing. Is yes, this one with the CPUs and two gigabytes of, of RAM. For networking, we let it like this. We're not gonna use SSH key for this test. And here I will just uh, put panel for the server name. Let's create it and abide. Okay, right now the server is created and in about two minutes we're, uh, we're going to come and uh, log into the server and uh, install the cloud panel. In here you have the installation uh, details. Let me see. First we're going to update, update it and install this package. It's curl wget and sudo. And in here you have the options to install it with MySQL, MariaDB 10.8 or 10.6. I will install it with MariaDB for this purpose. Let's see if this uh, was created. It looks like it is created. Let's take the password and log into this server. Let's go and uh, see how we can log into this server. First, we're gonna copy the IP address of this. I have opened a terminal in here that we're gonna use and in here we will SSH root with IP address. I have the password copied in here. Okay, we're now logged into this system and the next we're gonna go and uh, update and install the packages. Let me open the terminal again. Okay, we'll wait for this to, to finish in installing and afterwards we're gonna reboot the server. And we're gonna go and install the cloud panel and configure it and see exactly what we have in the UI and how we can install WordPress and how fast it is at the end. It should be quite fast because Nginx is some of the most uh, fastest uh, web servers out there. So I'm not uh, afraid of that, okay. Here we hit OK, OK. 
Okay, let's reboot this and afterwards I will log in again. Okay. Right now it's rebooting, we'll wait for about one minute and then we're we're gonna log in again. So I have logged in again on, on this system and next we're gonna go and install this uh, cloud panel there. You see here this is the command and in here it has the cloud Hetzner with the DB engine. We're gonna use MariaDB for this. Let's go and paste this command there. Okay, we're gonna install it. We're need, we'll need to wait and see at the end the results. This shouldn't take a lot of time to to be installed. This should be a lightweight version. You see that MariaDB is installing. We're gonna need to reboot the server a couple of times to for these configurations to be applied. For now we're gonna wait for this to, to finish. I'll pause this until it finish. So the installation finished, it took about 2-3 minutes to, to finish. At the end we have the address with the port 8443 that we can use to, to log in. So let me copy and paste this there. Let's go to advanced, proceed. And see if it's working. Okay, it's working. In here we have the options to first time to create the admin username. I'll put my name in here. If it does I'll put I'll set a password. I will choose my tongue zone from, from here. I agree. I will hit create the user. Okay. Right now the user is created. Let's go and see what is here. So this is the UI for the cloud panel. In here we have the options to add site. This is the dashboard with the operating system, the IP address that we, we have. We're gonna copy this because it's needed. Memory, CPU, and some graphs that will help us see the usage across, across this. Here you have the, the sites where we're gonna install it. In here you have the admin area, we can add users if you want. In here you have the, the events. So only have the login that was done now. Instances here are the services that uh, exist on this uh, on this VM. You see here the MySQL, the Nginx, the PHP form with the other versions, the ready server. We can restart them from here. In here you have the, the options for the project TPD settings, the time zone that you can set. You can reboot also the server from here. In the security you have the firewall settings and the allowed ports. You can set also basic authentication if you want. In the settings we have the general where we will put a domain in that we can access this securely. Right now we're, we're using the IP address without HTTPS. So for this I have a domain in here. It is in uh, 
it is in uh, Cloudflare, it is greatbabytips.com, we don't have anything set up in here right now. So what we're gonna do, we're add a record, for instance, an A record for the panel admin, I'll put it cloud and the IP address. I will not proxy this because it will not be needed. Okay, at the beginning I will not press anything, so you can see what will happen if you don't have anything. Right now I'll add also the main domain. And I will add also a C name. this from here okay so we've created the cloud with great baby tips let's go in here and put it so we can securely access it I will hit save and uh, yeah, custom domain has been saved. We're gonna go and log in in a couple of uh, seconds. Database server, here you have the port and the engine that is running. Yeah, here you have the Hetzner connection. And you have some options like to enable aut automatic snapshots for backup and the retention period. They've created an API token. And in here you have the, the snapshots. Here you have the support tab that is bring, will bring you to the cloud panel. So right now let's see if the secure options it's it's working. Let's log into cloud and see if we can access this admin securely without the port. You see that it's work, working. I will close this because we don't need it in here. I will log in again. And we're gonna go and add our first site. Okay. I'm logged in right now. You see this it's secured. We have a certificate with let's encrypt created. Let's go another site. And in this area you see that you have like to create a WordPress website, PHP website, Node.js, static, HTML, or a Python site. In our case, we're going to install an WordPress website. Let's go and put our domain. I will put the same type, title in here. And in here, I will uh, put just for this test purposes the. I'll copy this password just to have it to be more secure. Okay, let me paste it somewhere. Okay, email address, I will let this one, this is a multi-site now. Let's hit create. Let me close this. Okay, right now the website is creating and at the end we'll try to access it and see if it's working. In here you have all the details for this website, IP address, site, user, password, database for the WordPress you have you have these details to log in. Let me copy everything in case we need it. Back to sites. So in here, you have the manage option. If you add more, you have more domains you can add. Let's go and hit manage in here and see what we have. So you you have the, the directory where the files are kept. In here, the domain name, the PHP version, it can be changed from, from here. I will let 8.0 right now for, for, the, for this test. You have the memory, the max input time, the post max size. So you have the options to change this uh, uh, if you if you want, but these are optimized from from the start. 
here you have some base speed options that uh, that they are adding it for you let's let's try them and see how the speed it will be for this website you have the options to delete it here you have the vhost settings in the nginx with what it's it's there and here you have the database you have the options to add it delete it here we have the ssl so right now it's a self-signed certificate we have the option for a new let's encrypt certificate okay we are going to create it and install it to not have that uh, self-signed certificate that it's created in the beginning Okay, now it's created, the certificate uh, it is generated right now for the databases, for instance, if you want to PHP my admin, you have the link in here that you can uh, use and go to the PHP my admin and put your database credentials. Let's see. Yeah, so they are directly directly insert it if you want to connect to the database like this you can do that in the security you have the options to block ip block boots you can set up basic authentication if you want you can enable cloudflare so it will only accept cloudflare traffic we're gonna test this after right now cloudflare is not uh, enabled the proxy here we have the SSH users and the FTTP. We have a file man manager that is built in and here you can manage your files. Here, like this is the website and these are the WordPress files. You have the cron job and here you have the logs for, for this. You have the Nginx access logs. You have the PHP logs, the error for Nginx, you have also the error in here yeah so this is the the admin area for for the cloud panel now let's go and see if our website is working and uh, okay let me directly enter in this and we're gonna go and enable the cloudflare if you see here that right now you have the connection secure you have the ssl certificate that is created uh, Let's go and activate Cloudflare on this because we're gonna do some tests. I want to see how it's working. Okay. Uh, so right now we have activated the Cloudflare proxy on this. If we're gonna go refresh this, we see that everything is working. So the first thing that I'm going to do is with this theme and what is there is just to have installed the uh, run a test and see how is the speed test. We're gonna use the Google Base Speed Insights with the default on everything. Afterward, we are gonna go in the backend and install a plugin to, to do some tests and see how exactly I'm doing. We're gonna install a team and we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna go and uh, add a post and see with some images and see how it's doing. So right off the, the bat it's has a 100 percent and uh, these details are on, on green. Yeah, the Hetzner VPS is quite good. So that's why you will see this there. Okay, let's go and uh, install a plugin that we can use to test some performance for WordPress. Let me log in. I 
plugins, add new, WordPress formats tester, tester, let's see if it's fine, it's like this, this is the plugin, we're gonna run a test and see how this uh, is doing begin performance tests will take a minute I'll come back when it finishes okay so the tests are finished you see here like uh, the results are quite good it's better than the average in the average I have the details in here if you want to take a look so Hasner and this cloud panel will do a good job. This is the smallest shape that they they have. Okay, for me, what is important is also the speed of this. So what we're gonna do? I will gonna install some plugins and uh, uh, okay, I will start caching plugin and the add-in steam and create a post and. We're gonna test that with some picture and see how how it's doing. I will pause this and came back when this is finished. Okay, so I have uh, let the default theme in here and uh, created a test post. With this test post, I've included some images they are in WebP format already. I'll put in some text from my Ubidos website, so with headers and things like that. There are two images I've installed on. Uh, Caching plugin that uh, is the total cache will be total cache one, and uh, I'm start rank map for SEO purposes. So let's see right now how this uh, is doing with some pictures in it. Okay, base speed insights. Let's take this and see if we still get above 90 score. I'm gonna run to test just to be sure this is hitting the, the cache. Let's wait and see how the speed it's, it's doing. So you see that the speed is still 100. With this, the images are bigger, so that's why you have this. I mean, the, the images uh, have been resized by the WordPress. They only formatted WebP to not to be to not be analyzed by Google for that. And here you have the uh, image that can be loaded with lazy load if you want to do things better. So the performance is quite good for this uh, for the cloud panel and it looks like a strong solution. The only thing that uh, this doesn't have is an email. So if you want to host also an email on the same server, this uh, is not for you. You need to have an external email solution to link it to to Cloud Panel on the WordPress. But this is not the problem from my point of view because anyways, I don't like to use the email servers that are created with these panels because they are, they are not secure and they are loading the server for no reason and I am using something like Zoho mail that helps me helps me send to send email and receive them with the address. Again this is the, the interface. So like this uh, like this you install the cloud panel or on Hetzner and uh, <clears throat> how you and uh, this is the performance that you can expect when using this. From my point of view, it's very good and uh, it will help you if you have a fast website. I have also written and, uh, written and uh, made a video with a review of Hesner that I will let it in the description so you can check what Hesner has to, to offer if you're not familiarized with this Hesner solution. So, yeah, this is uh, this is my uh, how to install the cloud panel. I hope you enjoyed this this video and uh, 
please don't forget to subscribe and like the, the video if you enjoy it. Thanks and have a nice day.